Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with asynchronous programming in C-sharp. Our viewer is curious about the nuances of async and await, particularly when it comes to understanding if methods are truly asynchronous. They ask, if I have a long-running CPU-bound task, doesn't that mean some thread is getting blocked? Let's break this down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's clarify the concept of asynchronous programming in C-sharp. When you use async and await, it doesn't always mean that the method will run on a different thread. For example, when you call await foo async, the method may execute synchronously, blocking the thread it runs on. This can be confusing, especially in UI development. Now consider a long-running CPU-bound task, like complex calculations. Even if you run this task asynchronously, it will still block a thread because the math needs to be computed. A truly asynchronous method typically involves I.O. operations, such as file access or network calls. These operations can release the thread while waiting for the operation to complete. In summary, asynchronous programming in C-sharp allows for better responsiveness, especially in UI applications, but it's essential to understand when threads are blocked and how to use async effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Let's clarify asynchronous methods in c -sharp. The async and await keywords allow code to pause and release control without blocking threads. This means you can perform other tasks while waiting for a result. In the provided example, the foo method demonstrates this concept. It prints a message, yields control, and then resumes without needing a separate thread. It's important to note that tasks in c -sharp don't imply separate threads. They represent units of work that can be coordinated. Think of it like cooking, where you can manage multiple tasks efficiently. In summary, async and await help manage tasks without blocking threads, allowing for efficient execution and coordination of multiple operations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Asynchronous code in C-sharp isn't simply asynchronous. It's always relative to something else. The await keyword helps create synchronous workflows on top of asynchronous operations, making the code appear synchronous. When using await, the order of operations is defined. For example, if method B needs the result from method A, A must complete before B runs. This is known as inherent synchronicity. In UI development, asynchronous code often runs on a different thread than the UI thread. This prevents the UI from freezing, 
but it's just one aspect of a broader principle of allowing operations to happen out of order. The await keyword doesn't magically make code asynchronous. It allows for a synchronous workflow while managing asynchronous operations. For instance, if a method blocks the thread, it doesn't matter if await is used. In summary, await helps create asynchronous code relative to its caller, but it doesn't prevent CPU usage or thread blocking. It's a tool for managing workflows effectively. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.